A short while ago, a certain individual reached out via our Fix or Flop submission link. In a nutshell, his PC had been through the ringer, subjected to a pretty serious hurricane and various power surges. He had tried all he really could do with the parts he had on hand to troubleshoot the system and figure out why it wasn't posting. The explanations you're seeing here, with permission from the viewer, were admittedly a bit convoluted, at least to me. There was a lot of text and it was difficult to figure out exactly what was going on and what he was seeing. However, it looks as though replacing the motherboard and updating its BIOS to support his 11th gen CPU fixed the issue. And that's great news. While it is unfortunate we can't film a video about the issue, the fact is the system was fixed in about the shortest amount of time feasibly possible. That's the best case scenario, the best outcome I can think of. But here's where things get interesting. We get to talking a bit more about other things and I find out he's not only a Navy veteran, my father was also, I appreciate their service, but he was also an EMT for several years. And without getting too personal, someone very close to me was recently revived, brought back to life by EMTs in an ambulance on the way to a hospital. It was a very scary ordeal, but these EMTs not only saved this person's life, but also effectively kept families together as a result of the work they do day day in and day out that often goes unnoticed by folks who aren't directly affected by calamity. Now the EMT in these messages obviously doesn't have a direct role in this story. However, he likely has had a direct role in many other family stories throughout his years as one. And what I know how to do best is build PCs. It's a small token of my appreciation for the work he's done and the impact he's had. I want to build him a system that far outperforms what he currently has. You can see from these photos, some parts are recycled from an iBuyPower pre-built. He currently has an RTX 2060 in it and 16 gigs of DDR4. And his CPU is an Intel Core i5-11400F. I think we can beat that. This one should be a lot of fun. And if we're lucky, we'll get his reaction at the end of the video as well. Are you ready? Stay with me. What follows is a brief construction montage. To get rid of that annoying Windows activation watermark, head on over to VIP SCD key. Purchase a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for a fraction of the price of retail. Just use a secure payment method like PayPal, enter your product key into your PC settings window, and say bye bye to the watermark. And be sure to use our offer code SKGS for a so sweet discount. Now I think the biggest impact we can make for him with a new system is in the graphics card department, so let's start there. If he currently has an RTX 2060. I'd ideally like to be at least a generation newer than that, so maybe 3070, 3080. Let's see what we have over here. 3080 Ti. This wouldn't be too bad. It's a Galax card. Might not fit in some smaller cases. Let's see. Uh, 3080. Oh, this is actually a Founders 3080. We could go with this. First, just going to make sure that the uh, right card is in this box. Something's in here. Uh, yeah, it's a 3080. Wow, I forgot how thin these cards are compared to 40 series. This feels super slim, even though it's a full two slot card. Now, remember, these cards do have the 12 volt high power connector, but we're going to be using a power supply with a dedicated cable for this specific plug running straight from the unit. For the case, I purchased a Fantex Eclipse G300A. Haven't built in this before, but it looks pretty darn sweet, similar to the P300A, and that was one of my favorite cases. Looks really good. It looks mostly like a P300A, but you get a different front panel, still fully meshed, power button's a little different, same with front IO, but you get a large cutout up front for up to 360 millimeter radiators now, whereas before you can only fit up to, I believe, 240 or 280. In the CPU department, we're going ham with an i9-13900KS. We spoke with Origin PCs and they've allowed us to essentially gut their system for parts like this one here for this giveaway. A one terabyte Viper NVMe going in, and now 32 gigs of Dominator Platinum DDR5. This is some good looking RAM, that's for sure. Click in and in. Rear IO and this gigabyte board is integrated, so we'll just drop things in as they are. We'll mine these fan cables. Now taking care of front IO. Really like how clean it looks so far. Now this being one of the most high-end Intel consumer grade CPUs you can buy, I want to make sure that it stays nice and cool. So we've got a brand new Enermax 360 millimeter AIO with three lovely ARGB fans. And now that everything's buttoned up, it's time to take care of all of these wires. It looks, um, a bit messy. I'm actually going to take care of this before I install the power supply, which is not my standard order of operations. Also, I just realized I didn't route any of these cables through their cutouts in the chassis, so I've got to redo all of the wiring anyway. Eight hours later. It is still cluttered, but uh, it's organized 
clutter. So no harm here. Once the power supply gets in, at least all this stuff will be managed already. Hope you guys like my uh, drawing here. I think it's beautiful. Easy does it. I like it when the tubing is out of the way. So this right here should do it. This thing is like a perfect mirror, but be careful, it is a fingerprint magnet. It's very frustrating sometimes these case manufacturers don't give us enough room for beefier power supplies. You have to move the cabling from front IO out of the way in order to slide one in like so. Look, the tolerances are just super tight here. If we could just have another centimeter or two, we'd be perfect. But that should do it. This is a Corsair RM1000X. It's a beefy unit, much more than we need, but should be future-proof for several years. And again, with these tolerances, I can't get this eight pin through this cutout. Um, luckily, I can separate this uh, cabling here into two four pins, but this is ridiculous. Come on, Fantex, make the, make the hole like a, a centimeter or two wider. I don't know what the point of keeping it so tight is because it just creates frustration while building. I've Finally managed to wiggle these into place. 24 pins looking fresh. And now we've just this bad boy. You know what that means. Taking in one last look at this beauty. Mmm, boy. Oh, so clean. Gotta love it when machines torque the ever living sh out of these thumb screws. The whole point of these being thumb screws is that I should be able to remove them with my fingers. Easy does it. Yeah, this, uh, this is a lot slimmer than Ada Lovelace, but that's okay. Let's see. Come on now. Nice and easy. Gotta wiggle jiggle it in there. And there we go. Yep, that's a clean looking build. And the supplemental power cable goes in, obviously making sure this is fully inserted like so. And now before we close it up, this here is what the right side of the build looks like. Like I said, pretty clean. We did a decent job here. Now let's put the front panel on. And this is how things look from the left side. I'll admit a tad quirky because we've got some mismatched metal colors, a bit warmer on the graphics card side of things, a bit cooler for the motherboard. And then just like a solid like mirror coating over the CPU block and our AIO. I think it's gonna look a little better actually when we power it on. Now it has conveniently started thundering outside, so I imagine a storm is on its way. Welcome to Florida summers, but uh, we're gonna try powering this on anyway. I believe, I believe we've wired everything correctly. We're gonna find out. Uh, yeah, okay, so far, I didn't realize the Intermax logo is crooked. <laughs> and there it is. Right, so, uh, Mission mostly accomplished. I'm just gonna wing it here and assume I can rotate this. I hope I can. Looks like, oh yeah, we can. Okay, that was easy. Since this is symmetrical, we can just pivot this. That's awesome, so disaster. Averted. Now our temperatures look good for both the CPU and the GPU at idle, but I do want to hop into the BIOS, adjust fan curves a bit because the system is quite loud uh, in stock conditions. And then I want to run one quick test just to see how this performs in 3D Mark Time Spy. Now while drivers are updating, I did notice something else. This pesky little fan here is supposed to be lighting up and it's not, so something simple we miswired behind the motherboard tray. Oh, never mind, just notice these aren't lighting up either, which means this is probably a motherboard setting because I have both sets of fans plugged into different ARGB headers on the board. A few moments later. Whew. All right, so we've uh, got the lights working again and we have run the system through 3D Mark Time Spy. Now, this uh, actually came as a bit of a surprise to me. I wasn't expecting this to perform as well as it did. I know we have one of the best consumer grade gaming CPUs in here, but the 3080 is a generation old. It's not a 3090, not a 3090 Ti. It's definitely not a 4080 or 4090, but we're still scoring better than 91% of all submitted results, which is pretty darn impressive. I think this speaks volumes to how viable the 3080 still is in today's market. If you're looking for a graphics card and you're willing to buy a used one in particular, there are plenty of used 3080s for around four to 450, maybe $500 tops. I think they are great values in the used market. If you can find one that's in good condition, got great pictures from a reputable seller, it is worth a look if this is in your budget. By the way, I'll have all of these parts linked in the video description. If you wanna check any of them out, you don't have to build this exact rig, but if you wanna just piecemeal it out, maybe see one or two things that you really like, 
like that you want to have in your next rig, you can find those links below tied to our Amazon affiliate account, which is going to give us a small kickback of say two to three percent. In most cases, it's not a lot of money at all, but it does add up and that support is greatly appreciated. One final thing to prep before this giveaway, I want to make sure we have a fresh, clean copy of Windows 10 installed here. I choose 10 over 11 because I want to give the owner the option if he wants to upgrade or not. Some folks are very against Windows 11 still. They don't like some of the instability they run into in the past, so they prefer Windows 10 and this gives them that flexibility. What a journey this has been. I make it sound like this took several days to do. This took a day to build, um, but uh, that involved reinstalling Windows and setting up things in software so that the owner is ready to go, plug and play, so to speak. Really happy with the way this turned out. I think he is going to be absolutely shocked with the combination of hardware in here. Not only does he have the best consumer grade Intel CPU they have to offer in here, but also a very viable RTX 3080. And we have very adequate cooling in the NRMAX 360mm AIO. I know I was griping earlier about silly stuff in the Fantex G300A, but this is a very, very well put together chassis. Otherwise, it's um, it's not only a good looking case, but it also provides plenty of utility. You can put tons of hardware in here, much more than you could in the original P300, which is great to see. And they didn't obviously compromise on airflow. That front panel is as perforated as ever. I suppose the last thing to do then is give this system away. And I promised all of you the EMT's reaction on camera. We do have his permission to film his reaction. And full disclosure, he does know he's receiving a PC for free, but he does not know what's in said PC and he has not seen any pictures. He doesn't know the specs or anything like that. So I still think it will be a bit of a shock for him. I did have to wet the palette a bit because he does have to drive from Tampa, which is about an hour from here, but he is super pumped and I'm ready to bring you all along for the ride. Here we go. All right, we've just pulled up to our usual meeting spot and I think he's only about five minutes out. I'm gonna get some things set up. It looks like it might rain, so we might have to reveal the PC in the cabin here, but uh, I'm gonna try to put it out back so that we've got uh, a bit more in the way of camera angles. Mr. Brian, up, you came all the way from uh, what, south of Tampa? Yeah, that's south of Tampa. Cool, how's it going? No awkward handshakes here. Nice yeah. to meet you. Thanks for driving out. And uh, now I know I told the viewers that you did know you were getting a system, but you didn't know anything about the specs. You didn't know what it looked like. I didn't send any pictures. So uh, yeah, I made, I made you wait. And this I think is going to be pretty fun. So uh, here we go. So yeah, so that is an RTX 3080. Uh, and it has an Intel Core i9 13900KS. Everything there's an upgrade. But yeah, so <laughs> I had the specs of your old rig and I was like, I got to beat this in every way. Yeah, <laughs> so no, yeah, you I did. made sure to beat it in the platform department. You know, you've got the latest and greatest size, from Intel. Size is awesome. I love the, yeah, I love how compact this is. So you were in the US Navy, right? I was in the Navy, yeah. US Navy, and then you were an EMT for how many years? Uh, for 15 almost. 15? Well, yeah, oh. 14. But I worked full time for a city for a while, but mostly it was volunteer. Wow, that is awesome. Well, I want to say thank you for your service in the U.S. Navy, and uh, thank you for, for what you've done as an EMT, and uh, whether you get back into it or not, you know, I'm sure you've, yeah. you've impacted many people's lives. Yeah, yeah. And, it's uh, knowledge I'll have. I mean, even without that's the awesome. Cards, so. so we've got it packaged up for him, and uh, Brian's got a trip back home, but I want to thank you for, for driving out, no, and, uh, and again, for your service, for all the work you've done as an EMT uh, and in the military. Uh, I couldn't think of a better home for this to go to, and I'm glad to hear that you're going to be putting it to some good use, streaming yeah. and whatnot. So that's a. Uh, home to get hooked up right now. So. That's awesome. That's awesome. Find man. an upgrade from a monitor now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Good point. Yeah, All right, man. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate everything. I really do. Not an awkward Not handshake. Awkward at all. Yeah. <laughs> see, I'm getting better at it. <laughs> Thanks, you guys, for watching. <laughs> I have been. And uh, subscribe, like the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Subscribe if you Thank you, and uh, thanks for learning with me.